Hi, my name is Steve with Chronix Fix, and today I want to talk a little bit about PS4 HDMI ports and why they suck. Here we have a HDMI port on a PlayStation 4 game console, and this uh, shows exactly one of the major problems with these. You can see right here, there's a little pin right there, and that pin has been pushed out the back side of this HDMI port. And when that happens, there's several things that you can get. You can get a no signal to the TV, you can get fuzz on the screen, you can get a green screen, you can get all kinds of similar problems like that. And this happens all the time. This is our number one repair here at Tronics Fix. We get them all the time. And we see stuff like these pins pushed out. Um, I'll show you another one right here. As you can see, this one has even more pins that have been pushed out in the back. This is also a fairly common problem with these, and this shows it very well. Here you can see the inside on the front of the PS4. This is what you would see if you were looking at the back of the game console. And you can see down in there, those pins are smashed up in there because they've come loose from the plastic piece inside there. This shows you that plastic piece. This is the inside of the HDMI port, and each one of those pins corresponds to a pin on the cable that you plug in. And the problem with these is those little pins are not attached well to the plastic piece that holds them on there. And so when you push that HDMI cable in, if these pins are just up just a little bit, it can pull them right up and smash them against the back, and that will cause your problem. And this shows an HDMI port as it should be. This is how they come from the factory normally. And it shows all the pins in there, how they should be, and they're not pushed out the back. Now, as you can see, one of the main problems with this is that there's nothing keeping those pins from just being pushed out the back except for that small bar of plastic on the very bottom. Now we here at Tronic 6 have been working with a manufacturer in China to correct that problem by manufacturing an HDMI port that has a solid back. As you can see, this would really make it much easier for the HDMI port to last a long time and much harder for those pins to be pushed out the back. Another thing that might be kind of hard to see, but each one of those pins is integrated into the plastic uh, on the inside and that makes it so they're very hard to get pushed out and come up as well. So that's the main thing you have to watch out for on HDMI ports. Usually, if you think you have this problem, you can usually notice it by looking into the HDMI port when you have it still in the PS4. And you can usually see pins that have been pushed out or that are crooked or not attached and stuff like that. So that's one easy way to know if your HDMI port is faulty and it needs to be replaced. You might also want to consider replacing it if you're just worried about it going bad because these, like I said before, these go bad all the time and um, if yours hasn't gone bad yet, there's a good chance it will. So leave us a comment in the comment section and we'll answer your questions if you have more.